Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. It is the last day of 2022, and tomorrow is a whole new year. But I thought we would go ahead and take a look at some things that I've been setting aside and uh, get some things done here on the last day of 2022. It's actually quite a nice day out today. Got some leaves raked up and some yard work done. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's been sitting here. I stopped at Lowe's a while back, a couple weeks ago, when they had all their Christmas stuff on clearance, even before Christmas even was here. So I picked up some of these little 2.5 volt Christmas bulbs for the old GE sets that I have. Um, they were like 60 cents a pack. Now the sad thing about this is that um, you could have got these bulbs for cheaper if you bought like a set of 100 lights and then just took the little bulbs out because they had those on clearance for like a dollar something. You'd think that this would be much cheaper than even 60 something cents because you're not even doing anything. You're just putting bulbs in little packets. But whatever, they're perfect, they serve the purpose, and there's even a yellow one instead of an orange one. So that works out really good with the older set. Of course, it has purple in it, but that's okay. It's always a little bit of something different. I also picked these up while I was at Lowe's. I'm always a fan of these particular bulbs, so it was wonderful uh, to get some more 4-watt ones this time, or 4-watt equivalents to use in the night lights. I, I know I've said it in all the videos, but these GE filament LED night light bulbs are the best LED filament bulbs like this that I've ever used. I love these things. So anyway, what I also found was an older pack of the same exact thing that somebody must have found in the back because look at how dusty it is. I mean, it's obviously been sitting around for a while and they tried to clean it off. You look at the dust there around the, the edges of the plastic. Um, but the reason I picked up these older ones is because the LED faces straight out and I have some novelty lights that either need incandescent or one like this that's clear with the LED facing directly up uh, to work with the mirrors and stuff. If I had a frosted version or these, uh, because lights, the light here is distributed all the way around, it doesn't really uh, shine directly that way, you know, as you can see. So these older ones are uh, perfect for that application, so it was great uh, surprise actually to find these. Um, there was obviously not a spot on the shelf for them anymore, so I asked an associate, and uh, they looked it up. It's the exact same thing in their catalog. So this is what they had back in the day, and that's what has replaced it today. You also probably noticed this uh, photo cell sitting here. Picked this up at the ReStore, as you can tell. Always good to have an extra one sitting around. Um, I got a couple newer ones on the shelf, but... This is one of those cheap ones that would have came with a, you know, simple yard light from Home Depot or Lowe's or something, but not bad. This is something interesting. I've been eyeing these at one of the restores for quite a long time, um, but I don't really have any use for them. However, this time when I went, all the green tags were 75% off. So I got all of these boxes here for 75% off. They're obviously a Leviton product, as you can see. Um, but what in the world would I have picked up so many of these things for? Well, let's take a look. They're medium base. I believe they're called Pony Cleat Sockets. Um, this is the only box that is not full, but all the other boxes are complete. Um, let's see, we'll get it out of here. And it looks like each box has 10 sockets in it. So what in the world am I going to do with all of these? Well, like I said, I don't really have a use for them uh, in their actual sense of, you know, being wired up and being used. Because to be honest, it's not really the safest thing having the electrical connections on the outside of the socket. But what these are perfect for is just displaying bulbs. Um, so that's exactly... What I'm going to do with them is uh, put bulbs in them 
and use it as a way to display them. Maybe someday I'll wire some of them up, but for now, these will work perfect for that. And getting them on sale for 75% off a box, not bad at all. So that's what uh, is all in here. That's literally all that's in here are five complete boxes and then this uh, half complete box. But that's not all. I also picked up these three bulbs. Now, these G40 bulbs in general, I've always enjoyed for whatever reason. Um, these were not on sale or anything, but they were $2 a piece. And they're older Sylvania CFL bulbs, as you can tell. Let's see, it looks like this one might be easier to open with one hand. We will get it out of the box at some point today. And there we go. It's uh, got the basic plastic globe over a, I believe there's a uh, triple U-shaped tube, you know, like this. This one's a quad, um, but this one would have six in it or three of the U-bents. And this has one, this one has two, for example. Uh, but that's what's in here. Can't really uh, see it through the globe itself, but that's the style anyway. So, you know, again, I don't really have a uh, particular use for them, but I've always enjoyed these older CFLs, especially globe ones like this, seeing them in restaurants and stuff back in the day. So that's a kind of a memory type thing. Here's the side of the packaging. So that's really about it. It's just uh, some bulbs, a whole bunch of sockets, and some miniature bulbs as well. It's not too often that a PL bulb goes bad, but it looks like we have one right here. It's an older 5 watt PL bulb. It had a lot of use on it before I put it back into use, so I'm not entirely surprised that it went bad, but now it has come time to put a newer one in there. So this is a GE BIX. It doesn't look to have too many hours on it, but uh, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. So that's a lot of blinking and uh, we'll set it up here. I think I shared this fixture a while back in one of the um, other vlogs found it at Goodwill. It's one of these Ikea fixtures. I really enjoy using it over here in the corner uh, to give some up lighting. I always like indirect lighting. But the annoying thing with it is these little tiny screws that you have to take out to get the shade off. But uh, once you get them all off, just have your shade here. And uh, there's the bulb inside. So it's most certainly blackened. It's an old Sylvania. Let's go ahead and take it out. Compare it to the new one here. It definitely has some more blackening on the, uh, the tube itself too. Oh yeah, let's uh, break it before we even install it. Sounds about right. And you can definitely tell the difference in age just by looking at them. Now the Sylvania bulb, when I put it into service, I knew it didn't have many hours left on it anyway. Um, this light is used in the evenings every single night since I got this fixture. So it's definitely put some hours on it before it finally uh, no longer wants to stay lit. So set that one aside. put the new GE one in. I was going to put the fixture back together, but I thought let's go ahead and try it out before we do that. Not blink happy at all, but uh, definitely turns right on and it does look like it has a little bit of hours on it there. Let's try it again. Yeah, not really blink happy. Oh well. I just love the look of the light that these bulbs give off much better and while I was over here it looks like a uh, 
moth got in the house somehow. Caught the moth, took them outside, and uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like now, now that it's uh, back up and working. I'm happy with it. It uh, certainly lights up the area well. I don't know if I've ever shared what's behind here, but uh, it's just a Philips Hue bulb and a clip light. As always, I really do hope you enjoyed these videos, and also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.